welcome to my channel. Oopsie Daisy DIYs and more. My name's Daisy and this will be episode shoot 37 or 38. I'll post it. <laughs> I am so stressed out right now. <laughs> I videotaped recorded. I recorded I think two, three floss tubes, uh, three videos, not floss tubes. Um, and none of them had sound. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So I had to get my camera back to factory reset because I didn't know what was going on. And now I have audio. So doing, I'm going to do my videos all over again. Okay, a um, couple weeks ago I hit the mother load. I went to a yard sale and the wonderful lady, she says, I've been waiting for a cross stitcher. <laughs> and she had all this fabric, guys. Look at this. Look at this. That's probably like a half a yard, maybe. Uh, it looks to be maybe a 32 you count. I'm not sure. I don't have a tag on it. So, yeah, got this. This is a Lugana 28 count, it looks like. So, that one. Then there's this one. This is a nice color. Oh, let me turn my light on. I always forget to turn the ring light on. Okay, so this is a nice color. It's a kind of a dark, oh, a dark tan, darker tan. I can't see, get the color right. I'm trying to get so you guys can see the color. Let me see about adjusting. Okay, that's, that's close there. Okay, then this one's a, a darker. So this, this is the color right here. I don't know, it gets distorted in this. Okay, I don't know what count this is, but another half yard looks like. And I don't know what what this is. What I can't think of the name. <laughs> I know, but I can't think of the name. I've used it before. It's a thick fabric. And then there's this one close to me. She started something on it, so I'll take that out. And it looks like there's a few things she started on here and I don't know what she she used she was using the that other thread um, I can't think of the name I wonder why huh anyway <laughs> so I'll take those stitches out because I don't know what exactly she was stitching then there's this light baby blue I got let's see Okay, that's close. Then a green. And this one she had Christmas buttons on. And they say, fancy that buttons, honeybee creations. So I'll have to look that up. That's a green, green fabric. So I'll see what, what she was gonna stitch. And then I got this, there's one, two, three, four, five that she had taped. And that's a 28 count white Lugana. Okay, and then 32 count flax. This one, these she had labeled. And she has a needle in here too, so must have been 
getting ready to work on something there. And this is a 28 count she has written down. Trying to, that's in the bag. And then she had these. That, I don't know, could be a 32 count. I'm not sure. They're both, these are both the same, or three. Looks to be, that's a little bit different. This one's a little bit more uh, tan. This one has more yellow in it. Uh, I can't. Nope, I can't. Okay, and then, oh, this is <laughs> for Teresa's. I got some things from Teresa. And, okay. All right, so I got this. This, this came. Let me see if I can find a pattern. Oh my goodness. I thought I pulled it out. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. It's upstairs. Gosh darn it. Anyway, I have one that I started. It's a friendship type pattern. I think it's by fa Fancy That. I'm not sure. I'll bring it. I'll have to show it later. Um, then she had this together. So, yeah, the frame and the pattern. So she had this listed for, all these listed for $10. These patterns, these frames and patterns. Uh, the fabrics were a dollar a piece, but there's some other things I got and I can't remember what. But anyway, my husband got a, a bunched it all together and I think he paid like $50 for everything. Super deal. So I have this. This is Folk Art Christmas Angel number 103 by Fancy That. And I have the frame to go with it. Isn't that awesome? Then I have Fancy That Folk Art Guardian Angel. And Okay, I was throwing off here. <laughs> I have the frame upside down. Okay, so I got the frame and the pattern and the buttons. So I got that. Does this not have any buttons? I guess not. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if this has a button. Maybe not. I don't know. I have to look into that one. And I lost a pattern. <laughs> okay, so I got that. And I was so excited. I'm anxious to get these started. Then this one, To the North Pole, number 133. And I got the frame. I got the frame. Goes like that. So, excited about that. Okay, so that was the yard sale. Then I had a package from uh, Teresa, and I'm sure she uh, threw some extras in here. Oh, I, you know, she sent me fabric too. Gosh darn it. Where is the fabric? Oh. I think it's by my sewing machine. I'll see if I can run over there and get it. Okay, so the first one. Oh, here's another fabric. I forgot. Um, this is 18 by 13, 32 count. I can't read it. I can't read it. Anyway, so that's more fabric. Okay, then I got a package from Teresa. And picked up this cross stitch chart. Hazel's Halloween Friends. 
And these here are going to be giveaways. I also have, I uh, bought myself a, oh, I got myself a uh, set also. And here we have um, Whimsy Halloween. Lincoln's Eagle. Awesome. Aren't those wonderful? Look at that. Uh, Love Lives Here. And this has... Uh, let's see if I can... I don't know if there's any pictures in here. Oops, here we go. Here we go. Those are the patterns. Right? Um, and those ones also. So that wonderful book. Then I bought, got this one, Bright Stars, Broad Stripes and Bright Stars. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and these are, will be future giveaways. Um, when I hit 100, I'll give a few away then. Flurry, a collection of nine designs. I thought it was just one pattern. Oh, no. Look at that. Those patterns also. Wow, Teresa. That's wonderful. Okay, and then she's got a few winter bouquet. Yeah, awesome. Then, land that I love sampler. Awesome, awesome. Okay. These are the other... I already mentioned those. Okay, so I got that. Then I got this book, which I am ecstatic about. Halloween. Hello, Halloween. And why am I ecstatic? <laughs> Check this out, guys. Vintage Cats. Stitched by Daisy Tolson. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm a model stitcher for Teresa. And Teresa, I want to thank you for allowing me to be one of your model stitchers. It's such a pleasure. I'm still waiting on my next assignment. <laughs> Teasing. Okay, this um, I also stitch. It says, Pumpkins Fat and Witches Lean, Coal Black Cats with Eyes of Green. All the mystery can be seen on the night of Halloween. I love stitching that. Okay, and let me show you a few others. You know, of course, I'm not the only model stitcher. <laughs> All right, let me see here think I think <coughs> excuse me that's a Halloween sampler all right and these in there stitched by Jan Moore Mindy this one stitched by Mindy Russell and Amy Leonard oh gosh this camera I can't get it. <laughs> Gosh. <coughs> oh, I would love to have that as a pattern. All right? Hold on. Let's see if I can show you. Oops. Okay. That. Isn't that cool? I would love to have that. So, Teresa, if you ever get that charted, I would love to stitch it. Love, love, love. Okay, and this one stitched by Patty McCarthy. Isn't that wonderful? And, let me see. Oh, that was... One I did. Here's one. Prim Witch. I like that one too. 
stitched by Lisa McKenrick and Candy Askins. So there's one here and one here. And I think, is that it? I think that's it. Oh, two more. Hello Moon and Witchy Stardust, stitched by, oh no, that was me. <laughs> that was one me. Okay, this one, I don't know. Is this is just a picture. I don't think anybody stitched that. I don't know. I love this, the skirt and the sweater. <laughs> okay, so that's the Halloween book by Teresa Colgett. Um, then, let's see here. Oh, I got my fabric from Fortnite Fabrics. Ah, Mia Moore. Okay, this has kind of like a it's kind of like a stain. It looks like a stain, but it's not, of course. It's uh, got some yellowing. I think that'd be perfect for a sampler, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay. Then, let's see. I have a finish trick or treat by stitching with the sister Lees, with the housewives. Gosh, those names are so far freaking close. Uh, guys need to change your name. <laughs> okay, so that's a finish. And then I'm doing a best garnier. I don't know how to say it. It's a Halloween. So I'm going to have do that. I don't have the picture, but it, I believe it's a free pattern. And let me see. It's done by the uh, Giddy Stitcher. Gosh, was it free? I'm not sure. I am not sure if it's free, so don't quote me on that. Okay. Then I have update on my uh, what do you call this? It's my Tiny Modernist the mystery series. So this is I just got the part three so I just went ahead and started that and then I'll kind of go down here now. So that's some of it. I gotta get a picture of the full thing then. So that's that. And I need to cut this out so I can finish it. Okay, hold please. Okay, yes. Okay. All right, guys. Use the fabrics Teresa sent. And I am sorry for the crinkle. I just put it back in the bag because I didn't want it to get any dust on it. And keep it nice and clean so I can get to it. All right. Okay. What about it? Over here. <laughs> Okay, so this is a modeling. Um, what does that say? Let me see. Gotta open it up. Okay. I can't read it. It's because it's closed up, folded. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, this says Halloween Whimsy by Teresa Cogut. Riley Blake Designs. So this is a kind of a mottled green, dark green. Okay, then she sent a piece of this one. And gosh, man, I want to make.
like project bags now. I got so much going on though, I can't do it right now. And this one, aren't these so cute? Love, 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 love. <laughs> then a small piece here. And is this the same? This is blue. No, this is the dark green. So, let me see. Okay, she sent this one and then this one. I think they're about they're the same but different background color. And this one. So they're all three different background colors with the same circles. Then some pumpkins, crows. I would have liked more of the crows. <laughs> I got a thing for crows. So if you're watching, <laughs> let me know if I can get some of the crows because I really would like more of those. Then the whimsy chicks, Halloween whimsy chicks. A little piece here and a piece here that's the same. And then she sent me a panel. Guys, look at this panel. See if I can. Okay, so this frame around it, then the whimsy chick holding pumpkin bouquet. Let's see if I can hang it up and take a picture <laughs> so you guys can see it in its entirety. Look at the little pumpkin here that she's holding, and then a mop or broom. A mop. Gosh. Then more pumpkins and the cats. Look at the feet. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at. Oh, I can't see. Right there. Look at that. They're wearing socks. The cats are wearing socks. Isn't that cute? Oh, gosh. You know, I got so many projects going. <laughs> Then you gotta do videos. <laughs> Up here's another. Oh, these are the what I call this, like banners, I guess. Oh, I gotta think of something for that. Anyway, so that was from Teresa, and I showed you my finish, which I need to cut out. And my progress, and then uh, the other thing I need to get and show you guys too that I comes with that dark blue frame. Okay, guys, I think that's it. So I'm going to get this uploaded <laughs> since I have sound again. So give me a thumbs up. Click on that bell so you get notified and please leave a comment and share this video. I'm almost to 100 subscribers. As soon as I hit 100, I'm going to give do some giveaways. So excited about that and love you guys. Thank you to my old subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. I love you all. I'm very excited for the next next video because it's a large haul. Large haul. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. Bye.